The Purchase to Tracking Unit Conversion feature allows you to automatically convert your purchase quantities into the units of stock that you track and manufacture in. Let's say we have a spool of twine. We purchase our twine as a spool, and each spool contains 100 meters. To make our products using this twine, we measure by the meter, so we'll want to create a purchase to tracking unit conversion to handle the calculation automatically for us. For simplicity, we've already created our twine material, so let's go directly to the edit form. For our tracking unit, we want to set the measurement unit that we make our products in. This is also the unit in which our stock on hand will be displayed. For our twine, we're going to set this to be meter. Our purchase unit is the measurement unit that we purchase our material in. We purchase our twine as a spool, so let's use this here. Next, let's set our purchase to tracking unit conversion. If we were using standard units such as pounds to ounces or meters to centimeters, we would find that this would be calculated for us automatically. However, as we're creating a custom conversion here, we'll need to add this in manually. As each spool we purchase contains 100 meters, we will set 100 as the conversion here. And then we'll save the material. Now that we've set our units and conversion amounts, now let's add an expense to see how this works together. Firstly, you can see that the tracking unit and purchase units we just set on the material are pre-filled into the expense form. This shows that for the purchase of one spool of twine, our stock on hand will be increased by 100 meters. If we purchase three spools this time, you'll see that Crafty Base will also automatically calculate this as 300 meters for us automatically. Going back to the single quantity for this purchase, let's enter our cost of $5.60 in the total cost field. You'll see that our unit cost is now automatically calculated into our tracking unit for us. Crafty Base has used our conversions to calculate exactly how much each meter costs to purchase. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us.